A riot is a form of civil disorder commonly characterized by a group lashing out in a violent public disturbance against authority, property or people. Riots typically involve vandalism and the destruction of property, public or private. The property targeted varies depending on the riot and the inclinations of those involved. Targets can include shops, cars, restaurants, state-owned institutions, and religious buildings. Riots often occur in reaction to a perceived grievance or out of dissent. Historically, riots have occurred due to poor working or living conditions, governmental oppression, taxation or conscription conflicts between ethnic groups or religions, the outcome of a sporting event or frustration with legal channels through which to air grievances. While individuals may attempt to lead or control a riot, riots typically consist of disorganized groups that are frequently chaotic and exhibit herd behavior. However, there is a growing body of evidence to suggest that riots are not irrational, herd-like behavior, but actually follow inverted social norms. T.S. Ashton, in his study of food riots among colliers, noted that the turbulence of the colliers is, of course, to be accounted for by something more elementary than politics. It was the instinctive reaction of virility to hunger, Charles Wilson noted. Spasmodic rises in food prices provoked Gielman on the Tyne to riot in 1709, tin miners to plunder granaries at Falmouth in 1727. Today, some rioters have an improved understanding of the tactics used by police in riot situations. Manuals for successful rioting are available on the internet, with tips such as encouraging rioters to get the press involved. As there is more safety and attention with the cameras rolling, citizens with video cameras may also have an effect on both rioters and police. Dealing with riots is often a difficult task for police forces. They may use tear gas or CS gas to control rioters. Riot police may use less than lethal methods of control, such as shotguns that fire flexible baton rounds to injure or otherwise incapacitate rioters for easier arrest. Types A police riot is a term for the disproportionate and unlawful use of force by a group of police against a group of civilians. This term is commonly used to describe a police attack on peaceful civilians, or provoking peaceful civilians into violence. A prison riot is a large-scale, temporary act of concerted defiance or disorder by a group of prisoners against prison administrators, prison officers, or other groups of prisoners. It is often done to express a grievance, force change or attempt escape. In a race riot, race or ethnicity is the key factor. The term had entered the English language in the United States by the 1890s. Early use of the term referred to riots that were often a mob action by members of a majority racial group against people of other perceived races. In a religious riot, the key factor is religion. The rioting mob targets people and properties of a specific religion, or those believed to belong to that religion. Student riots are riots precipitated by students, often in higher education, such as a college or university. Student riots in the U.S. and Western Europe in the 1960s and the 1970s were often political in nature. Student riots may also occur as a result of oppression of peaceful demonstration or after sporting events. Students may constitute an active political force in a given country. Such riots may occur in the context of wider political or social grievances. Urban riots are riots in the context of urban decay, provoked by conditions such as discrimination, poverty, high unemployment, poor schools, poor health care, housing inadequacy and police brutality and bias. Urban riots are closely associated with race riots and police riots. Sports riots such as the Nika riots can be sparked by the losing or winning of a specific team. Fans of the two teams may also fight. Sports riots may happen as a result of teams contending for a championship, a long series of matches, or scores that are close. Sports are the most common cause of riots in the United States, accompanying more than half of all championship games or series. 
Almost all sports riots occur in the winning team's city. Food and bread riots are caused by harvest failures, incompetent food storage, hoarding, poisoning of food, or attacks by pests like locusts. When the public becomes desperate from such conditions, groups may attack shops, farms, homes, or government buildings to obtain bread or other staple foods like grain or salt, as in the 1977 Egyptian bread riots. Effects The economic and political effects of riots can be as complex as their origins. Property destruction and harm to individuals are often immediately measurable. During the 1992 Los Angeles riots, 2,383 people were injured, 8,000 were arrested, 51 were killed and over 700 businesses burned. Property damage was estimated at over $1 billion. At least 10 of those killed were shot by police or National Guard forces. Similarly, the 2005 civil unrest in France lasted over three weeks and spread to nearly 300 towns. By the end of the incident, over 10,000 vehicles were destroyed and over 300 buildings burned. Over 2,800 suspected rioters were arrested and 126 police and firefighters were injured. Estimated damages were over 200 million euros. Many governments and political systems have fallen after riots, including Tsarist Russia, ancient regime, British rule in India, when bread and salt riots hastened the withdrawal in 1947, governments across the Middle East and North Africa during the Arab Spring, riot control and laws. Riots are typically dealt with by the police, although methods differ from country to country. Tactics and weapons used can include attack dogs, water cannons, plastic bullets, rubber bullets, pepper spray, flexible batten rounds, and snatch squads. Many police forces have dedicated divisions to deal with public order situations. Some examples are the Territorial Support Group, Special Patrol Group, Compagnies Republicaines de Securité, Mobile Reinhide, and Arrest Units. The policing of riots has been marred by incidents in which police have been accused of provoking rioting or crowd violence. While the weapons described above are officially designated as non-lethal, a number of people have died or been injured as a result of their use. For example, 17 deaths were caused by rubber bullets in Northern Ireland over the 35 years between 1970 and 2005. Risk of arrest A high risk of being arrested is even more effective against rioting than severe punishments. As more and more people join the riot, the risk of being arrested goes down, which persuades still more people to join. This leads to a vicious circle, which is typically ended only by sufficient police or military presence to increase the risk of being arrested. National Laws India In India, rioting is an offence under the Indian Penal Code. United Kingdom England and Wales Riot is a statutory offence in England and Wales. It is created by Section 1 of the Public Order Act 1986. Sections 1 2 of that Act read Where 12 or more persons who are present together use or threaten unlawful violence for a common purpose and the conduct of them is such as would cause a person of reasonable firmness present at the scene to fear for his personal safety. Each of the persons using unlawful violence for the common purpose is guilty of riot. It is immaterial whether or not the twelve or more use or threaten unlawful violence simultaneously. The common purpose may be inferred from conduct. No person of reasonable firmness need actually be, or be likely to be, present at the scene. Riot may be committed in private as well as in public places. A single person can be liable for an offense of riot when they use violence provided that it is shown there were at least 12 present using or threatening unlawful violence. The word violence is defined by Section 8. The violence can be against the person or against property. The mens rea is defined by Section 6. Indictment CRV Tyler and others, 96 CR App Par 332, 1993, Crim LR 60, CA. Mode of trial and sentence riot is an indictable only offence. 
A person convicted of riot is liable to imprisonment for any term not exceeding 10 years, or to a fine, or to both. See the following cases. R.V. Lutman, 1973, Crim L.R. 127, C.A. R.V. Pilgrim, 5 C.R. App. R. 140, C.A. R.V. Keys, 84 C.R. App. R. 204, 8 C.R. App. R. 444, 1987, Crim L.R. 207, C.A. R.V. Cook, 9 C.R. App. R. 116, C.A. Association football matches in the case of riot connected to football hooliganism. The offender may be banned from football grounds for a set or indeterminate period of time and may be required to surrender their passport to the police for a period of time in the event of a club or international match or international tournament connected with the offence. This prevents travelling to the match or tournament in question. Act 2000 After rioting of England fans at Euro 2000 Compensation for riot damage See the Riot Act 1886 and Section 235 of the Merchant Shipping Act 1995 Construction of riot and cognate expressions in other instruments Section 10 of the Public Order Act 1986 now provides in the Riot Act 1886, riotous and riotously shall be construed in accordance with Section 1 above. In Schedule 1 to the Marine Insurance Act 1906, rioters in Rule 8 and riot in Rule 10 shall, in the application of the rules to any policy taking effect on or after the coming into force of this section, be construed in accordance with Section 1 above unless a different intention appears. Riot and cognate expressions in any enactment in force before the coming into force of this section and above shall be construed in accordance with section 1 above if they would have been construed in accordance with the common law offence of riot apart from this part, subject to subsections to above and unless a different intention appears. Nothing in this part affects the meaning of riot or any cognate expression in any enactment in force or other instrument taking effect before the coming into force of this section. As to this provision, see pages 84 and 85 of the Law Commission's report. Common Law Offence The Common Law Offence of Riot was abolished for England and Wales on 1 April 1987. If the group did not disperse after the Act was read, lethal force could legally be used against the crowd. See also the Black Act, Section 515 of the Merchant Shipping Act 1894 formally made provision for compensation for riot damage. Northern Ireland riot is a serious offence for the purposes of Chapter 3 of the Criminal Justice Order 2008. See paragraph 13 of Schedule 5 to the Electoral Law Act 1962. Scotland There is an offence under the law of Scotland which is known both as mobbing and mobbing and rioting. In July 1981, both Dundee and Edinburgh saw significant disorder as part of the events of that July, while in 1994 and in 2013, events in 1981 were very similar to those in England, although sources are severely limited. Both Nidri and Craig Miller saw riots in the 1980s. United States of America Under United States federal law, a riot is defined as a public disturbance involving an act or acts of violence by one or more persons part of an assemblage of three or more persons, which act or acts shall constitute a clear and present danger of or shall result in damage or injury to the property of any other person or to the person of any other individual or a threat or threats of the commission of an act or acts of violence by one or more persons part of an assemblage of three or more persons having individually or collectively, the ability of immediate execution of such threat or threats, where the performance of the threatened act or acts of violence would constitute a clear and present danger of or would result in damage or injury to the property of any other person or to the person of any other individual, 18 U.S.C., 2102. As every state in the United States has its own laws, each has its own definition of a riot. 
In the U.S. state of New York, the term riot is not defined explicitly, but under 240.08 of the NY.